It's hard to fight off claims of corruption when the politicians are the ones riding around in the flyest shuttles. What's up, meta-nerds? In today's video, we're going to be talking about the H-2 Executive Shuttle, a smaller shuttle used during the time of the Republic, mainly by senators and other high-ranking officials. The H-2 was constructed by Slane and Corporal, the same company that would produce the V-19 Torrent and T-6 Shuttle for the Republic, and who would later go on to produce the B-Wing and MG-100 Star Fortress. Its cost is unknown, but the H-2 was 14.6 meters long, or 48 feet, making it about 8 meters shorter than the T-6 Shuttle, or equal to the length of an ARC-170 plus a Wookiee. It had a decent top speed of 875 km per hour, or 544 miles per hour, making it about 50 km per hour faster than the new class. For crew, it would only require a single pilot, but had comfortable accommodations for up to 5 passengers and a bunch of luggage. The H-2 had a much more sleek design compared to the other shuttles in this area used by the Republic. The majority of those shuttles were built by Cygnus Spaceworks, like the new and Eta, and they had a much more utilitarian design, whereas the H-2 seems to be designed for looks. The front cabin had plenty of transparent steel windows, giving the passengers and pilot a beautiful view. The wings of the H-2 were able to fold closer to the body, making this craft easier to store in smaller spaces. And this wing folding feature is a staple of Slane and Corporal products. Now we're unsure if the cutouts in these wings serve a purpose, or if they're just to make it look cool, as this was a luxury craft meant to make a statement. And given that it was mainly a diplomatic ship, it had no onboard weapons. And surprisingly, if you go with the stock model, you don't even get a hyperdrive. First we ever see the H-2 shuttles in the year 21 BBY, at the peak of the Clone Wars. Given that now it was a galaxy at war, the Republic knew that the capital of Coruscant was always under threat of invasion, and that the Supreme Chancellor would be the number one target. In the event of an emergency, an H-2 was installed inside of the Republic Executive Building as a means to escape from any threat that might arise. This H-2 is painted a dark blue color, very similar to the Senate Commandos, and it would have this Senate symbol on the bow. Despite the capital city being so well protected, it would eventually come under attack, but not from the Separatists, instead from the mighty Zillow Beast. This creature would rampage through the city in search of the one who ordered its imprisonment, Chancellor Palpatine. It would finally find its target in the Republic Executive Building and begin its attack. To protect the Chancellor, Anakin, Padme, and their droids would board the H-2 stationed in that building. It was able to quickly take off, but it was grabbed by the Zillow Beast, and then it tried to crush everyone inside. What we see here is either a testament to the Zillow Beast's intelligence, choosing not to just crush the craft, but to look Palpatine in the eye before he killed him. Or perhaps the H-2 is so well constructed that he actually couldn't crush it. It's very easy to think that the escape craft made for Chancellor Palpatine would have some heavy modifications. Reinforced hull bracing, thicker plate armor, all kinds of stuff to make this ship more secure during an attack. Just how luxury vehicles here on Earth are often reinforced with added layers of defense for VIPs. In order to escape this attack, Anakin would use his lightsaber to slice the forward section of the shuttle in half, disconnecting the part that the beast was holding onto and letting the cockpit slide off onto the building. It would then escape on foot thereafter. So despite it being cut in two, the H-2 did still buy the Chancellor some time, even if it couldn't get him off a of Coruscant. Now that's the only time we see it in the service of the Republic, but interestingly, the H-2 ended up in the hands of some Separatists. In fact, we actually see it with Separatist Senators more than Republic ones. This either shows that Slane and Corporal, despite producing one of the main fighters of the Republic, as well as a shuttle used exclusively by the Jedi, was still neutral in this war and sold ships to whoever it wanted or that several of these H-2s were produced and purchased before the outbreak of the Clone Wars. Both are plausible theories, so let me know what you think down in the comments. We see an H-2 that is painted in old Senate red used by CIS Senator Mina Bonteri. Soka and Padme would hitch a ride on this particular H-2 to meet with Bonteri behind the Republic and Jedi's backs in an attempt to start peace talks to end the war. What's interesting to note about this H-2 is that its wings don't fold down and then backwards. Instead, they just fold up. Why it's different with this particular version is unknown, perhaps it's an older model, because this version would take up more space in a conventional hangar. Rush Clovis, another Separatist Senator, would also have an H-2 shuttle for personal use. This one would be named the Scipio, after his homeworld, and would be painted a goldish bronze color. And this H-2 has the same folding wing action as the one we saw with Palpatine. Once again, Padme would be on board, as she would take the Scipio to Clovis's personal residence during their meeting with the banking clan all in an attempt to pull a loan for the Republic in the year 19 BBY. And despite its widespread use, it's actually something that we don't see any more of after this year. So that's it for its history, and the only cool behind the scenes facts is that it made its debut in the Clone Wars animated series, with its first appearance in the episode The Zillow Beast Strikes Back. The red variant is seen in the episode Heroes on Both Sides, and the Scipio is in the episode An Old Friend. While some of the extra details about this come from the new canon book Star Wars Encyclopedia of Ships and Other Vehicles. If you want to connect with us on social media, 
Find ways that you can help support this channel without it costing you a thing. Or check out our Patreon. Be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon. But most important of all, remember, cutting it in half with a lightsaber does void the warranty. And the Force will be with you. Always.